When trying to calculate the electrical savings or potential for electrical savings when upgrading to a variable speed swimming pool pump for your main filtration pump, one of the things that you're going to need to know is how much you pay for your electricity and how all that kind of works. How it works is that you pay by the kilowatt hour. That's how uh, it's charged to you. And as you see on the screen here, these are the numbers or the cents, dollars and cents, uh, like 13.3 cents per kilowatt hour, as you see down on the bottom, that is your nationwide average. Um, you know, it could range up to as high as 30 or more cents per kilowatt hour in places like Hawaii, or um, I think it's um, 25 cents or more uh, in Alaska. As you can see on the screen here, California is just about 20 cents per kilowatt hour. Ontario, Canada, 14 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, in Canada, the national average is 13 point one cents kil per kilowatt hour so it's actually very comparable between the two ignoring of course the uh, difference between the currency values uh, but that's how your electrical rate is charged to you and when you're trying to determine how much potentially you can be saving what you're going to have to do is figure out the kilowatt hour consumption that your potential pump is using and then you can use these multipliers here to determine what your actual rates will be. Now this is a dynamic equation and this is difficult to calculate because most places now have variable electrical rates. And so in order to yield the maximum electrical savings, you will have to become proficient with knowing when your peak periods and off peak period electrical savings can be applied and then you need to uh, have something like this variable speed pump that you see here in the background where you can program it on a 24-hour cycle such that you can utilize the benefits of running it when it needs to run at higher speeds during the off-peak hours. That is where you can really experience the maximum savings. You know, one hour at full speed operation on this pump will use the same amount of electricity as 64 hours of operation running at one quarter speed that is a huge potential savings but also what it is is if you only ran your pool pump on maximum speed for a few hours a day because that's the most economical way to do it there's a couple of things in your pool that might need the maximum flow value from this pump in order to operate correctly like a you know a floor cleaner or something like that so what you would do is you would operate the pump only a few hours a day at maximum RPM. However, even that few hours that you're running at maximum RPM is going to represent the bulk of the costs that you are paying on the 24 hour usage of your pump. Because when you dial down the, the speed of these pumps, you experience an exponential drop in the amount of electrical usage that the pump consumes so that those few hours that you're running at full speed, that's where most of your money's gonna go. If you can manage to use those few hours during an off-peak cycle, um, then that would be the best. You know, usually it's the middle of the night kind of thing. That's when the cheapest electricity is going to be available. Maybe it's not an option for you to run your pool pump on full RPM in the middle of the night because maybe you have neighbors or the pumps right next to your bedroom or something like that. But if you could, if you could run your pump in the middle of the night for those few hours that it needs the maximum RPM value, utilize the lowest possible electrical rates from your variable electricity rates from your providers, then you're going to be able to, to experience the maximum electrical savings. But as you can see, that's a pretty involved equation. Um, and that's why, you know, it's most swimming pool that like they really have a lot of a lot of room left for improvement in terms of efficiency like the average residential swimming pool is not an efficiently designed thing and there's a lot of room for improvement and that's what we're seeing here with the introduction of variable speed pumps into the marketplace and soon to be law required uh, by the department of energy as your main filtration pump single speed pumps will soon soon no longer largely be available so uh, it's important to get on board with understanding how you're paying for electricity and why these things are saving you so much money. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.